What's up, y'all? It's Jordan Theory here with Dream Chase Life, reporting today from Seattle. Uh, today's episode is about the Vanishing Seattle Project, started by my uh, good friend, Cynthia Brothers, uh, who is documenting the gentrification and displacement and the disappearance of long-time uh, cultural community institutions here in Seattle. Vanishing Seattle is a project, um, it started as a social media project but has expanded and it documents the disappearing and displaced local institutions, small businesses, um, homes and communities um, and it also celebrates uh, the spaces that give the city of Seattle its soul. And um, it started about four years ago in early 2016. And it just came out of this personal need that I had to um, take pictures and document all the places um, in Seattle that seemed to be just disappearing at this really accelerated rate. Um, and the thing that uh, kind of pushed me to make my very first post um, on Instagram was a Filipino restaurant on Beacon Hill called Inai's. And um, one of my friends worked there as a server and also a drag performer who would do this uh, drag show every Friday. And um, the area is kind of gentrifying and so the rent got raised and they had to close. Uh, but I was there for the very last night that they were open and uh, Tasha Manila, um, the drag performer, was um, doing her last show there. And it was just a really packed house. You had folks that um, came from the Beacon Hill community, from the Filipinx and Asian American community, from the queer community. Um, and it was just a really uh, powerful night and this kind of cross section of different communities in Seattle that I felt was just a really, like, powerful and like uniquely Seattle space. Um, yeah, so I just took pictures and video and that and posted it under the handle Banishing Seattle. And that was, um, again, out of the desire just to like, capture that moment, but also to share it and to like show people what a magical place it is. And those are the types of things that um, we lose when places get pushed out or people are forced to, to move. So the film series, I was approached by, um, who's now my co-producer, his name is Martin Tran, and we you know, both were involved in the Chinatown International District community. Um, we both hung out at Bush Garden a lot. <laughs> um, he's also a filmmaker, and he was working on a story, he's working on a film about Bush Garden right after um, folks learned that it had been bought by a developer. And so he approached me with the idea of um, doing a whole Vanishing Seattle film series, and it's like, you know, Bush Garden is really important to folks here. Like, what about other Bush Gardens? You know, this is something that's happening all over the city. Last night, I got a chance to check out the first film in the Vanishing Seattle film series that was at the Wa Nawari House uh, in the Central District here in Seattle. Central District is was historically an African-American neighborhood. Uh, they said in, in the last 30 years, it went from being 80% black to now uh, less than 10% black. Um, and I think that's a really important statistic and, and very jarring, but uh, representative of the type of gentrification that we're seeing in places like Seattle, Portland, Washington, D.C., and uh, Oakland, California. Our, the whole series launched with um, the first film, which is about Wanawari which is a fifth generation black owned home in the central district. Um, that's also a, um, an art space, a space for black community to gather and like hold ground and um, you know, continue to nurture those uh, connections. And so we did a event with them at Wanawari last night in collaboration with the Wanawari crew and had some um, spoken word and um, some hip hop and yeah, showed the film. Um, it's probably gonna be a seven part series of short films. 
Um, they started, we were trying to make it like four to six minutes and we realized that's way too <laughs> difficult. So the films are probably gonna be between seven and nine minutes. And um, they're gonna be released online roughly about a month um, apart. And then they're gonna also be paired with a community event. I want to thank Cynthia Brothers. I want to thank the filmmakers from the Advancing Seattle uh, film series who are working to document uh, the gentrification and displacement happening here. And also just want to give a shout out to all the people who are working to fight gentrification and document the stories and the people who lived in uh, these places all across the country and the world, really. This is Jordan Theory with Dream Chase Life. Thank you for tuning in. Please make sure to subscribe and check us out on Instagram, too, at dreamchase.life. Peace. Vanishing Seattle is on Instagram and Facebook at Vanishing Seattle, on Twitter at Vanishing206, and the website is vanishingseattle.org, and folks can feel free to message me, slide up in my DMs, shoot me an email, because um, it's basically like a collaborative project, and so I really, uh, yeah, I welcome folks to send me tips and pictures and stories um, so we can help, you know, get those out there.